Now to new information we're learning into the shooting in the parking lot of a strip club on Detroit's west side. This happened on Plymouth Road, not far from the intersection with the Southfield Freeway. Victor Williams is live tonight as police work to find the shooter who is on the loose right now. That's right, on the loose, and they are still looking for him. Police spent a better part of the morning investigating this shooting, but in the last few minutes, we've noticed people coming out, placing balloons at the top of the gate right here at the strip club. That's in memory of the person who passed away. These fools all of them want to be wider or Al Capone or somebody, everybody carrying guns now. Mm -hmm. The community is reeling from yet another senseless murder to take another life in a place meant for people to have a good time. It seemed to be problems at these clubs, like the one on the east side. That shooting was ridiculous. People are supposed to go out and have fun. At the end of the night, everybody go home. A man in his late 20s this time killed at the Dollar Bill Strip Club on Detroit's west side. You can't sleep at night with gunshots that close. I've seen a body down there by the fire hydrant near the club, another one in the driveway, and there's always the young people, they're killing each other. The shooting took place after 1 a.m. in the parking lot. We're told someone from the strip club even pulled the man inside in an unsuccessful attempt to save his life. My girlfriend was asleep, she jumped. By that time, I looked out the window after the shooting, everybody scattered like roaches. Apparently, violent crimes happen in this area on a routine basis. They act crazy, they park all on the curb all around the curve, so when you pull up, you can't see traffic coming. For that same reason, Manuel Johnson is considering moving away from the community he loves altogether. I got three properties here, but uh, make me want to sell all of them and move on because it's too crazy. And right now, police are unsure of a motive. They do believe, however, it was a dark colored SUV that was involved in the shooting. If you have any idea who might have been behind the wheel or who might have been the shooter, you're advised to contact Detroit police as soon as possible. On the west side, Victor Williams, local 4.